The Guam Memorial Hospital's debt has increased over the last few days by nearly 2 million, going from 19.5 million last Friday to now at 21 million. In addition, the hospital also missed another retirement fund payment of $467,000 that was due today. I think ballpark, it's, it's maybe uh, in the neighborhood of 21 uh, million for all the trade payables. That's the amount Guam Amor Hospital CEO Ted Lewis believes is owed in outstanding payables. The amount is close to two million more than it was last Friday when Lewis responded to Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz's Freedom of Information Act request for a listing of all of GMH's vendor payables. At the time, the listing showed that GMH owed a million dollars in utilities, 1.2 million to federal contractor Perry Point, 4.1 million to the treasurer of Guam. 1 million to JC Marketing and over 1 million to the Government of Guam Retirement Fund, among other outstanding debts. Uh, two years ago, and I wasn't with the hospital then, but I think there was a large loan that was taken out to reduce the payables significantly at that time, which I believe was in the first quarter of 2014. Okay. Um, and, you know, prior to then, you know, the, the the payables were on a regular basis weren't able to be managed adequately every month. So so it built up um, since we got that loan in the last couple of years, the payables have built up over time. Again, the the reasons are that the hospital is not getting uh, enough uh, reimbursement uh, for what it takes to take care of all, all the patients. So okay. that's the fundamental issue. We asked Lewis if GMH has been able to pay down its balance with the retirement fund. You know, we have, um, in, in recent weeks and, and months, our, our, um, there's been several occasions when we've gotten behind on our payments. And, um, uh, but it changes every week. We make some payments and the balance changes and then more comes due. So um, I can't really give you the current exact status. We also asked Lewis whether the hospital has received its allotments for the months of October, November, and December. This is what he told us. We have many things that are done on a one-time basis, specific projects, and funds come from uh, some of the tax revenues that are generated um, in certain areas that, that come to us. Um, and then our, our regular subsidy allotment uh, category that comes through DOA also. So many things come through there and you know I know that there are funds um, uh, coming in all the time you know different different time periods so um, uh, I, uh, what, what's come in, in in the last couple of months I'm not familiar with precisely. During a roundtable discussion on a proposed hybrid retirement plan on Monday, Public Auditor Doris Flores Brooks said that GMH has not paid its income tax withholding, which is about $6 million.